Good morning, dear children. Now we'll do even and odd numbers. Okay. We have already studied about even and odd numbers in the previous chapter. It is the same for three digit numbers also. So what we have studied, we studied that if a number ends with 0, 2, 4, 6 and 8, then the number will be even. Okay. And if a number ends with 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9, then the number will be odd. Okay. So, we'll keep these things in mind and solve this question. Circle the even numbers and put a square around odd numbers. Okay. So, let us see the first number 148. And 148 is ending with 8. 8 is the last number here. So, 8 is an even number. So, we will make a circle around it. Now, see the next question. 325 and 5 is at one's place. 5 is the last digit here. So, we will see 5 is an odd group. So, 5 is an odd number. So, we will make a square here. Now, see the third question. 461. And last number is 1. And 1 is an odd group. Odd number. So, we will make a square here. This is not a square. But you try to make square. This is a rectangle. Understood? So, now next number we will see 953. Again, here 3. 3 is an odd number. So, we will make a square around this number. Now, 824. And 4 is a last number here. And 4 is, a even, is an even number. So, we will make circle around it. 100. 0 is a last digit and 0 is an even group. So, we will make circle around it. Understood? So, now read all the numbers. See the last digit of the number and see whether the number is even and odd. Got it? Now, turn the page, page number 34 and we will do question number 2. Write whether the number is even or odd. So, we will read the number and see the last digit. Understood? 810 and one's place digit is 0. So, this number will be an even number. Now, see the next one. 515. 5 is an even. 5 is an odd number. So, the number will be odd. 417, 7 is an odd number, so the number will be odd. Now next, 152 and 2 is an even number, so we will write here even number. Understood? Now, rest question, try to do by yourself. Now we will do the last exercise of this chapter, that is fill in the blanks by observing the pattern. Now, dear children, read the number carefully and find the pattern. Okay. 1. 1 is done for us. Here, 200, 202, 204, then 206, 208, 210 and 212. This pattern is showing the skip counting of 2. Okay. Now, we will see the next question. 510, 512, 514. Okay, now 510, 511, 512, then 512, 513, 514. This is also a skip counting of 2. So, how we will write here 514, 515 will skip and 516 will write. Okay, 516 will write. 
and then 516 and 17 will skip and will write 518 and then 518 and 19 will skip and will write here 520 and then 520 and 21 will skip and will write here 522 okay now see the next question 711 712 is not here 713 then 714 is not here 715 so what we'll do 716 will not write we'll write 717 and then 718 will not write 719 720 will not write 721 722 will not write 723 this is also a skip counting of two children and you can use any method to fill it now see the next number 862 and 864 what is the difference here also skip counting of two difference is two we can subtract and see it See, 864 minus 862. The result will be 2. The difference is 2. So, if you will get, if you will add 2 in 864, you will get the next number. Okay, or you can simply write like, uh, write like this. 862, 863, 864. Okay, 864, then 865 will be not right, will not write 65, will write 866. We will not write 867, we will write 868. And then we will not write 869, we will write 870. And then what we will not write? 871 we will not write and we will write 872. 873 we will not write. What we will write? 874. Okay. So if you will add 2 here, then also you will get the same answer. So I am telling you both the method. Whatever easy for you, you can choose and do. Here 410, 420, then what will be here? 430. This is a skip counting of 10. The difference is 10. So 10, 10, 10 we will add. Like 420 plus 10, 430. And then 440. Then 450. 460. 470 okay and now these question you try it by yourself